Hey, what's going on guys? It's OGCP De Silva, and welcome back to some Black Ops 2 gameplay. This time we're on the map slums, and I'm going to be going in with this MSMC submachine gun as my primary. And you know what? This is some exciting gameplay. And if you watch this gameplay as it progresses, you'll see exactly why I know that I have just this personality where I can go all kinds of crazy in a game, and my playstyle is just the exact same way. And this is a fun game to watch because just like an ADHD kid, I can't sit still. I have to have that quick trigger. Uh, my finger is constantly on that fire weapon, uh, excuse me, that fire button, and I'm all over the place. My control stick is constantly moving and it's just a fun time. So hopefully you guys enjoy that in the background. But I want to talk to you guys really quickly about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now what I've seen so far and what I think um, about the game from what I've seen um, through the multiplayer trailer um, is that it looks like a lot of fun. Now one year ago I gave my opinions about Call of Duty Ghosts and they weren't very positive ones at that. You know and now we see the majority of people out there who have played that game and some who are uh, reluctantly, <laughs> reluctantly are playing it uh, don't really like it. Uh, the majority of people. And you know, I'm not saying that I'm a predictor of the outcomes of games if they're going to be good or not, but Call of Duty Ghosts, I said, wasn't going to be a fun game, and look, it's really not <laughs> for the majority of people, again, because there are a few who do enjoy it. But um, Advanced Warfare, I hope with the hype that's been surrounding it, that it is going to be a good game. And my prediction, um, don't quote me on this, but I think it's going to be a great game. I really do. This is the first Call of Duty that we see that's actually innovating. You know, and it's funny to me that not everyone out there is bashing Advanced Warfare, but I have seen a few people who aren't really open to the idea that Call of Duty is actually being innovated. You know, it's funny. It's actually quite ironic because that's the number one thing that people complain about because Call of Duty is the same thing over and over. It's a rehashed game and there's only one or two things that they've really changed about the game but now that Call of Duty is actually drastically changing they're doing something dynamic here people aren't open to that idea you know I think we should actually embrace the fact that Call of Duty is going into or venturing into a totally different area it's exploring a place where Call of Duty has never gone before the double jumping something we've seen in Titanfall you know, the strafing, something we've seen from Halo. Some of these things can actually push this franchise forward. The cloaking. I'm not so sure about the cloaking. We'll see how that progresses, but it is something that we've never seen before in a Call of Duty game. And I think it could be a positive thing. It could be a good thing. It could be something that pushes this game, this franchise forward. And, you know, I think that's what excites me the most about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I think the direction that they're going in is is a good one. I think that because of this, um, people will come back to the series that has been dwindling. You know, a lot of topics out there discuss, is Call of Duty dying? You know, that's the number one topic, I bet, I bet you anything that the number one topic out there on YouTube is, is Call of Duty dying? You know, this is the one thing that could rekindle um, the fire of Call of Duty and bring us back to the series that we know and love. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Do you think that all these new features that it is bringing is innovating and it's something that's going to really push this franchise forward or not? But with that being said, this is OGCP De Silva and I am signing off.